From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Impala Rustenburg has officially handed over nine social and labor plan projects to the local community. Along with community leaders and representatives of the Royal Buff King Nation family and the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy, Impala celebrated the handover of the completed projects, which are valued at over 94 million rand and which created an additional 714 jobs in the area. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Impala Rustenburg Chief Executive Mark Monroe outlines the significance of these projects. It's times like this when I am proud of Impala. This is not a mining feat. This is a, this is a neighborly feat. This is a, a good neighbor gesture. And I think yeah, as I stand here, I can, I can be proud that Impala, through these, these investments into the facilities here, can genuinely show that we are a good neighbor. And I hope that all the members of the communities around our minds will one day also stand up and say, it is good to have Impala as a neighbor because we benefit the society in general. So as I'm standing here in front of the Prince, the Executive Mayor and the Regional Manager from the DMR, to hand over these nine completed projects that will directly benefit the local communities and improve the lives of the residents. And this one in particular would add value to the youth and to individuals as they grow up, benefiting from these facilities. This is, this is the moment that we've been working towards for the last few years. We take our responsibility to our surrounding communities and developing society in general very, very serious here at Impala. We do not believe we do this to comply with our SLP. We do this to show that having big, strong companies and supporting those big, strong companies within your communities can actually add value to society in general. And that is the pride we take. And that is the spirit by which we embark on the many projects we do within the community. Impala has a track record of our commitment to making a difference within those communities in which we operate. The impact of this investment will be felt through many different interventions, including the youth training, the bursary programs, the learnerships that we have given out, the graduate program that we are having now in our company, the SMME development, job creation, as well as the SLP. Through this, we not only provide the infrastructure, but we will assist in providing the knowledge, the wisdom that will take these facilities to the next level. We're humbled to be in the position at the moment to do more than what is required of us. Through the strength of Impala that we currently do enjoy, we are able to provide extra support to the communities, especially in this time of need when the COVID has hit us so bad. Contributing to the upliftment of people in the communities is crucial to us. And through these initiatives, we in turn are able to operate profitably and go from strength to strength within our business. We are particularly proud of these SLP projects that we planned in collaboration with the respective community leaders and representatives. I must be honest, not in a million years would I have or Impala's engineers been able to design a beautiful facility like this. So thank you very much for the stakeholders that supported us getting the expert knowledge in to design these facilities like this. As I said, our support covers a wide range of development initiatives from school facilities, roads, the water schemes, community facilities. The four communities that benefited from these most recent projects, from these nine SLP projects represented in the, the booklets handed out, represent an investment of over 94 million rand 
and have created during their construction and development 714 jobs. More than that, they represent infrastructure and community upgrades that will have a lasting impact on the communities for years to come. These projects form part of our first and second generation SLP undertaking. The projects include three road upgrades, 15 offices, a multi-purpose centre, a community hall, a community centre, a sports facility and a water scheme upgrade. Monroe expands on some of these projects. If I just draw your attention to one or two of them specifically, in Luca we've created five projects that include the renovation of community centres, construction of new workshops, upgrading of office facilities for administration, gathering areas, dedicated water pipelines within the Luca community to outline areas, pumping stations, transfer the water to storage facilities, water storage facilities that include the steel tanks you see in the area, paved roads and water canals, and community halls in the Luca area. In the Kanana area, we've constructed this beautiful multi-purpose centre that we gathered in today. This centre provides access for, for public facilities consisting of multi-purpose indoor sports facilities you see here, but also halls, offices, ablution facilities, a kitchen, parking areas. We've upgraded the, the power articulation system and the sewer systems to support this development as well. And this, this facility, I'm pleased to say, is linked to the neighboring school. And those upgrading of the power and sewer systems will support the neighboring schools as well. We have looked slightly greater than that and considered the, the road facilities here that we've impacted on and the stormwater facilities in the greater area over here to improve the area in general. In Katlawong, we've upgraded the road to the School for the Deaf, which was previously a dirt road. And I know my team is very, very active within that school to look how we can further upgrade that school and ensure it delivers a good service to the community. So ladies and gentlemen, you'll find that Impala is specifically focusing on sport facilities and education facilities. And that will have the impact on the youth in the future and support them. So in summary, we're honored to be integrated and to be an inter integral part of our community through these facilities and many of our activities within the communities. We are very happy and pleased to be involved in upgrading all of the community facilities from the infrastructure to the utilities, the electricity and the water facilities and the educational facilities, knowing that these benefits will stand long after the ore bodies have been exploited. This is not the end to our contributions. We will continue to invest in providing more support to our communities and further upgrading our facilities. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.